gave some of the fans a chance to take to the corkscrew. And they quickly found out why it's limited usually to the experienced racers. Lots of dizzy and sick fans after going through that experience. Honda versus Camaro today as we take two groups of very experienced racers and throw them in to the corkscrew. Camaro and Acura to start things off blue and red. Camaro on the near side, Acura on the far and Acura getting off to a good lead in the first sector here. Finally to the corkscrew they are and it's a big lead for Acura. Mm, come out, comes out nice and clean. Turns a little bit right there and he'll roll right toward the finish line and start this one off with an easy win. Oh, Camaro. Is he going to finish? <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have years, right? Um, definitely a tough race for him. Slow out of that hairpin, too. Did not take a good angle into the turn. Look at him inching towards the finish line. And then pulling up just short. Content with the progress he's made. Camaro convertible and the Honda. Convertible on the near, uh, far side there. Honda on the near and wobbling a lot, but able to hold his speed. And he's got a good lead. He's still wobbling back and forth in that lane. And now he's free into the open section with the corkscrew. And he will come out nice and fast. That Honda. And he will cross the other car, not even on the screen. It's a tough one for the convertible. Camaro and the Acura, 69-17. And they'll roll down. Remember, the Acura was the winner of this matchup a couple of races ago. This time, the Camaro, ooh, held the lead for a second, but the Acura now streaks ahead into the corkscrew section, but it's much closer. Camaro almost coming up right on the Acura. There was a collision there, and Acura's turned around. Camaro still has to gain some distance. Acura dodges left, and the Camaro does pass by. Whoa. What a finish. Look at the end here. Acura is backwards. He's out of sorts. He bumps off something because he can't see where he's going. And the Camaro dives into the open space. That's the kind of racing you like to see out here at races and fun. Camaro and the Honda Prelude. But wow. That race will be in our memories for quite a while. And now the Honda Prelude. A much better showing. Out of the first sector and still holding it. A little collision from the back this time, but he doesn't turn around, and it will be the Honda. Crossing just ahead. Another close race, but uh, pales in comparison to what we saw previously. 11 Camaro and the Honda Civic. Here comes the 11. Down on the near side, dropping a little bit. The Civic holding his ground. And, ooh, he falls for a second, but now he's back into the lead on the top side there, trying to push past. He does take over in the corkscrew. And he runs down to the final hairpin, and he's got a lot of carry. Whoa, that acceleration through the corkscrew is massive for the Civic. And the 11's got no chance at the end. Well, moving on, Camaro SS and another Civic. This one not as uh, painted as boisterously. But uh, as long as he's fast, he'll get the job done. And right now, he's stretching out another lead. The SS are not far behind, though. There probably will be some contact here. And there it is in the third turn of the corkscrew. But only the momentum is in the side of the Civic. And he's going to cross the line and uh, flip over the SS as he does zigzagging around there at the end, but still uh, he had room to do so. Camaro and the Honda Civic SI, different kind of Civic, could switch up the performance here. The Camaro actually holding true and into the lead out of the first turn. And the SI's got work to do, wobbling through that straight. Here we go to the corkscrew. It's two, now three turns, and now to four. And it is the Camaro Civic coming up right behind. He's on the far side there. Now to the near side. He crosses, and he got it. Ooh. I apologize for the voice crack, but that was a burst of speed at the end. 
Camaro and the Honda CRX will get going. And I want to refer back to what we just saw last race. There was no tricks. There was no mistakes on the side of the Camaro. It was just straight acceleration in the last turn, and that's going to turn on the excitement, especially at my end for sure. I'm going to let my voice crack if it does. The Civic there narrowly avoiding a loss as he comes across with only one car length to spare. Definitely a lot of zigzag there at the end. Seven Hondas, only one Camaro coming away from that first round unscathed. And he's going to be on the chopping block once more here against the Honda Prelude. They are even through the first straight. Camaro stretching out. Ooh, and he's behind out of the, uh, the first turn there. And here comes the Honda into the corks group. Camaro's got what to do. He pulled a fast one in the last race. If you remember that mistake right there, there's another connection there into the third sector. But he turns and all the speed is gone. He will cross and nudge the Honda right there from behind. But that's going to do him no good as he couldn't trick his way to first place this time. Honda Civic and the CRX. I remember this being the SI actually in round one. And the SI is actually bursting with speed out of first straight but loses it as he uh, through the first turn. He's got it back though and he does dive ahead at the beginning of the corkscrew and he's got Carry down there. Look at the acceleration through the hairpin. Very fast. He turns left right there and he's got problems behind but he's able to stay ahead. And you can credit the defensive maneuver of the SI here at the end. Cut across just in time. Honda Prelude and the Honda Civic. Civic, Prelude, red and yellow. And it is the Civic with more speed out of the gate. It turns very nice on the Civic as well. Definitely one of your strengths so far today. And they hit the corkscrew. And that lead widens for the Civic, who is a blur of speed as he crosses the finish line camera, struggling to keep up with that sort of speed. I'd say that's a good thing. Perlude. Eh, not a bad race, but uh, went up against a very tough competitor. 18 Civic and the Acura. So the Acura and the Civic both really dominate against the respective racers in the first round. And now they have to face off against each other. Civic right now not doing as good as expected, even though he was a blur in race one, struggling in race two with the gap. Ooh, staying still. Ooh, the Civic on the inside line. I thought he had the pass, but no. He loses out. If we can get a replay on that. Ooh, look at the Civic. Ugh, he hung up right on the back of the Acura and could not make any moves. And we got four Hondas left. Semifinals. They're at hand. Acura, Honda Prelude. Acura just coming off a win. The Prelude. And we noticed that. Struggling to take the lead and now way behind into the corkscrew area. Here comes the Acura down the third turn, three and a half. Ooh, and he's blur out of the corkscrew area, and he's got the win right there. Crosses with uh, time and distance to spare. Perlude, I don't know what happened to him, but he barely crosses the line with his uh, tires facing in the wrong direction. And that turned around there in sector three. Back and into a parking spot, it looked like. Honda Civic and uh, Honda Civic. The one on the left being the SI from round one. And it's going to be two Civics. Who's got the speed? Right now it's the red Civic. Who, uh, just by a hair, runs into the corkscrew in the lead. They are close now. Some contact from the SI, who's trying to find space. Goes to the near side now, the far, and there's no room. Civic has not blocked in all directions and really was not slowing down at all. And as you might have guessed from race one or two, this red Civic will be in the finals. Best two out of three as per the usual. If you don't know how it works by now, you must be new to races and fun. And if you're new to races and fun, I would recommend subscribing and supporting the channel. Acura, Civic, both red cars, different in shape, however, and both with lots of speed into the court screen. They are neck and neck. Ooh, a drop back from the Acura, loses momentum there in the final sector, and the Civic stretches out for a nice win. 
here in the first race. Now honestly, with the equal speeds of these two cars, especially seen in the first sector, it's going to be hard to tell who's going to take race two. Only time will tell, and not much time needed. They are already in the race two, and the Acura tries to stretch out into the Corkscrew Civics, got it by a length. Now they roll down to the Corkscrew turn three, and now into the three and a half, and it's still the Civic. Acura with some moves at the end, he goes inside, he tries to find space, but the Civics got him blocked. Whoa, that's defensive driving if I've ever seen it. Civic turns, T-bones, then switches back to normal and does a diagonal block right across the bow of the Acura. And there's absolutely no chance for the Acura to get around. Civic locks the door on that one and takes the win for himself and the Honda team. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to drop a subscription and a comment, and we'll see you in the next video.